Hey everyone and welcome back. So we're going to talk about how I find inspiration online. Now we went, already went over how we can stay inspired and generally that's where I get most of my inspiration, you know, talking to peers, walking around, studying other people's work, you know, staying knowledgeable about different topics. That's what really keeps me inspired. But I also think that a key to your product design process in this is what I find absolutely necessary is to have a constant source of online inspiration. So there's several sites that I like to visit. These are some of them. The main one I like to visit is Dribbble. So here's Dribbble. Uh, it's a great place. I'm sure many of you know it already, but I love it just because I can just make a bunch of collections of different types of like design patterns that I really love. Uh, also searching on here is really easy. And this is probably one of the best places to go and get ideas for your designs. I mean, not because there's so many people posting cool things, but you know, it's a great way to study your peers. You can discover some of the world's top designers and creatives. And you can also get inspiration from a wide range of disciplines, like anything from animation, branding, illustrations, product design, web design, print. I mean, there's so many different things on here. There's always a project you can learn from. And what makes it great is that it's a place where people can post their content and get feedback. I mean, feedback doesn't happen very often on a lot of these posts, but it's just a great way to get a lot of different type of inspiration. Some people even like showcasing their portfolio for potential clients or studios. And because of this, like final pieces that are uploaded are like of the highest quality. I generally love to catalog different things like I mentioned before. And this is what I generally do and this is how I use it. So I like to sometimes just browse all. I'm a big fan of like different things. I guess like an example would be like if I just typed typography, some people are doing some really interesting stuff that may inspire me. Like just seeing something like this print collateral and looking at all these different shapes and the way they're positioned and even the way like the text is bolded and laid out, something like that could inspire me for like website hero page or something like that. So like anything you can grab inspiration from. And I feel like a lot of people get really hooked up or held up on trying to find just the right solution that they can kind of mimic. Don't do that. I mean, that's one way to kind of stunt your creativity. So what I like to do is like, if I'm going to search for something like navigation or mobile navigation, I like to see all these different types of like options. So like if I go into this, this is pretty cool. Just the way they have these little kind of micro interactions and animations. So I may just like save that. And I have a bunch of different like collection. So you can see I have a collection for calculators or carousel forms, color, there's like CRM tools that I like to look at. Um, I may save this under mobile navigation. And I can just create a collection really quickly. So this is really cool. And there you go, it's saved, you can even like it if you want. And you can start typing and you know, some people like to give their feedback or just ask uh, questions. It's a really great place. So this is what we typically do Like I would grab this, I would save it. I would type in like mobile navigation and start creating a collection of different ways people have done this if I'm trying to solve for a similar problem that I'm stuck on. Now I may not be stuck on this per se, but I may get inspired by something like just how they have done these smooth animations like in this example I just showed you. So. I may really like this, just the subtlety of it, and I may wanna implement something similar for my product. And the easy way to get there is to hover over your profile and go to like my collections over here. And you can see like I have like even a test, I have a bunch of different options here. So I have mobile navigation right there and I'll just, you know, kind of go through them. I may like copy them or like make notes about this uh, mobile navigation if I edit it and add a description to it. So that's how I typically use Dribbble. I mean, like I said before, you can get uh, inspiration from like any type of discipline, like even if it's branding, like just seeing like maybe like just the way that they've incorporated a background here seems very interesting and how sharp like in terms of contrast there is between uh, color and shade. You know, don't limit yourself just by trying to find the right solution for what you're trying to do, you know, look elsewhere. Another thing I like to use is Pinterest. This is a whole lot of library of visual content. I mean, you can get inspiration for everything here, but there is a lot of noise. I think the best way to get inspiration from something like Pinterest is to do what I've just done here. You know, just have a very 
like targeted search. So I've chose mobile design. And yeah, there are a lot of different options here. And what you can do is you can just kind of save it. I have like a keto family meal plan, little kind of uh, collection over here. And you can like save those collections for yourself or your, those boards they are called in Pinterest. I mean, one thing you can also do like is create a bunch of different boards about different types of design patterns that you love. So that's one way to use Pinterest. I also like to just like use Pinterest just to look at different things. I mean, it could even be like interiors. It could be anything like design related, even if that's interior design. Like I said, don't limit yourself just to like finding the right solution. So what I typically do is I like to just kind of go into one and I'll like, I'll save it to a certain board. So like I'll click save and it'll go into that board. It went into the wrong one, but you can kind of change that. You can pick basically a bunch of different boards. You can even make a new one on the go. So that's definitely an easy way to keep track of a bunch of inspiration. There's also a plugin that allows you to actually like save different types of uh, content. So if we go back to Dribble, so here's my uh, Pinterest extension. And what you can do is like, if I focus on here, I have it pop up over here that I can, I want to save it to somewhere. Even if you're on a different site, you can save things to your Pinterest board. The easy way to use Pinterest and collect inspiration over time. The next one I like to use, I don't use this very much, but I mean, one thing I really love about Behance is that the quality is really good here. And, you know, there's a lot of explanation behind some of the work. This is another interesting place to find a bunch of different types of inspiration, whether it be like graphic design, you know, all different types of design. I often use this kind of like a long side dribble, but not as much as dribble. A good thing to note is that big businesses will spend a bunch of money advertising job roles here with hopes of attracting like top talent. So since there are big brands on the lookout, you can expect to find lots of work. You know, there's a lot of great ideas and lots of creativity. So if I go here and I search like mobile, like I can already see there's a bunch of different like options and one thing that's really great about it that's way better than dribble dribble just kind of gives you a, like a snapshot of a design over here like a lot of people like to upload like so much content in regards to the actual app like you often only see like just a snippet that looks really good but you kind of are left in the dark about how the rest of the application pans out and if it's good at all so this is what like a lot of the different types of like kind of things you'll see on Behance, like a lot of different types of gallery image, like images like this, they'll break down like the challenge or customer development. I like this stuff way more than the pretty screenshots because I'm really interested in like how they solve the problem and how they got to the solution. So some people will often post things like that. I like to see how people even lay out like or define their style guides. So this is really cool. Like see uh, more in-depth animations which look really, really smooth. I like to see different types of things. Like they have a transactions over here. They have card settings, just like how the bank cards will look. It just gives you a lot more versatility on how you want to like view those projects and what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for a quick solution for like a design pattern, then, you know, maybe Dribble may be one of the better sites to look at or patterns, which we'll get into next. But this was really great to get overview of certain projects. You know, there may not be as many, but a lot of, of the projects on here are just top notch. So another thing I really like to use is patterns. So one thing you need to know is that patterns isn't free entirely. This is essentially like a focus on mobile design patterns. And there's some great mobile app designs here and you'll get screenshots of like in-depth UI elements. You can even search just based off of UI elements, which is really cool. And like I said before, it's paid, so it kind of limits the amount that you can see. Sometimes what you can see is enough, but I mean, if you're really looking into solving for different design patterns and you don't mind paying for a premium, then I think this is a really great resource. So like if we take a look on the side here, we have like different categories, which is really cool. Like if I'm gonna look for cards, I see how different people have handled cards and I'll only get to see just a little bit. I think it'll stop me like right now. So it's not a lot, but I mean, it's not necessarily like everything is super pretty, like in terms of like the dribble effect, but you get to really see some actual solutions that have been implemented, which I value, I think a bit more. What else do we have here? Like, I love to see different things like, you know, lists is another cool thing, like how people handle different lists. So, I mean, 
This is really great for just finding individual like UI elements and stuff like that. I love using patterns. Uh, I have a paid account through my company, so that really helps. And yeah, this is how I solve a lot of like different types of like individual problems or like problems that are kind of more secluded and more focused in a certain area. So like if an example would be, how do I handle like privacy or popover? So I have privacy here and there isn't many options, but uh, it's very interesting. Like, you know, they have a verify your identity option. So I may think about that when I'm implementing something like that. Uh, if I think about like popovers, I think like, you know, maybe like the po an overlay can come from the top, it can come from the side. So I see a bunch of different implementations of that. And the last site I kind of use, I, I like this site, especially for websites, is awards. So this is another great option for web-based design. They have an award system, like you can see that over here. And, you know, it displays exceptional designers and they have expert judges and a pretty strict evaluation process. And you'll notice a lot of the latest web trends are over here. So we can search up something like banking. And here you can search by websites, you can search by like elements. So if we go to load all results, let me just click that. If we, yeah, if we go there, we can see a bunch of different websites based off of what we searched for. And what's really great is like, I searched up something like banking, which you would assume would be really like rigid and, you know, strict in terms of like their design and their design principles. But you see a bunch of different like takes on what banking could look like. I mean, not all these things are necessarily banking related, but there's a lot of inspiration here. So like we could just click over here, we have a small banking business and this is Lone Star National Bank. It's a really great site. I can see just a bit of the hero. And if we click into that, we'll go to the actual website and be able to actually experience that experience. So this is obviously a little bit different than what we saw, but you know, maybe they've had a, a design update and maybe for the better or for the worse, but it gives you good context as well into like the solution. You know, going back to pretty screenshots and not necessarily knowing if certain things have been implemented, these have pretty much all been implemented and you can see how that actually functions when you go to that website and try those different like interactions or, you know, explore navigation schemes and stuff like that. So these are basically the top ways I get my online inspiration. I mean, I mentioned before that I get a lot of my inspiration by just staying inspired in general and like staying knowledgeable on different topics, whether that be like design trends, whether that be like development trends, everything like that. So I think it's really important that you kind of catalog some actual visual design inspiration online as well. And these are some resources that you can definitely use. So if you want to categorize everything from all different sites, you know, Pinterest is probably best to have like one source of truth in terms of like a board. But if you want to stick to certain sites like, you know, Dribble, you can like save collections there and uh, have it all in one place over there. So this is what I use and, you know, go out there, have fun, don't copy people, but just try and stay inspired online and surround yourself by online inspiration. So that way, when people come to you for ideas, you're kind of on the ball, you understand a bunch of different design patterns and, you just have general knowledge of what are the latest trends. So go out there and have fun.